Well, Mr. Holmes is relapsing. This illness that he has seizes him when he finds himself with nothing to do. He becomes completely asocial. And alas, this is a very difficult, medically incurable case. Now this must stay between us. Of course, I understand. How very sad. But there is a cure, if only a temporary one. A thrilling inquiry. Most certainly. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. I didn't fall out of the window. Father, sir, he's missing. I, I don't know what to do. I need to earwig to find out who is offering this special job. Oh, I need to. Okay, this is different. The man who's offering that special job has a proper set of mutton chop whiskers. You see that gentleman? I need you to follow him and report back to me. All right, Mr. Holmes. Okay. A bunch of random failure points in now. this game. Oh. <laughs> I'm supposed to actually get onto the cab. I hope we're not disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. I'm glad to hear it. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? Ah, uh, yes. It is a war that we must fight on our streets and now, too, from my home. It's curious. Your face seems familiar to me, Doctor. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? Well done. You are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries over there, would you believe it? <laughs> Not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can approach the other fellows to see if they might be interested in a special job. A special job? May I ask what you're referring to? Certainly. Since Lord Marsh began his special education program in 1889, he foresaw that such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help make London a better place. What is this? Whoa, hello. Find a pair of related clues and they will form a deduction. So you would think that special job is connected with the missing person. No? Okay, well yeah, that's an obvious connection. Okay. Search, Toby. Search. Oh, they actually have me control Toby for this? Okay. photograph. Let's try to get inside. And how will we do that? Whoa. Use the correct lock picks to lift the lock plates and create unobstructed path. Maybe this one? Okay. Well, that was rather easy. All right, any more clue connections that I can make? Dang. All participants in the S group from the special 
education program could be missing. Yeah, I... Thank you, I said that already. Holmes, this is no longer a laughing matter. It is just as I feared Lord Marsh is suffering from tuberculosis. You don't say. Yes, I do say. And Holmes, he will die if he is not transferred to a sanatorium as soon as possible. And yet both Lord Marsh and Dr. Fisher are doing their best to hide this fact. How interesting. But why? Why indeed, Watson. But this section kind of Lord Marsh. requires you to focus a little more and be more active. Who are you? So there's less time George to think. From the first love at Scouts, here to deliver justice. <laughs> An old soldier. How ironic. Did we refuse you on our special education program? It's true, I was refused. An old wounded soldier is useless to you. But he can still be dangerous. We hunted a lot in these woods, but I didn't expect to become the prey. I have lived a grand life without any limits set by others. I will die a happy man, so you won't see me begging you festering wretch. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to meet your maker. George, lower your rifle, please, for Tom's sake. Holmes! My, my. An almost worthy opponent. Tom? My Tom? If you've endangered my lad in any way, you will pay dearly. I assure you that Tom is safe in London with a well-trusted friend. And now it's time to end this. By all means. George, listen to me. If you're seeking an apt punishment and vengeance, killing Marsh will give him exactly what he wants. He would die knowing that he had fulfilled his life through his absolute control of it. But if you allow Marsh to live and be arrested, he will suffer a punishment far greater than your eye could deliver. His ball and chain will be the debilitating tuberculosis. It will drag him painfully and slowly to his demise behind bars. You're mad! You're both mad! Let's go and find Tom. The statue did it. It killed Zacharias. Calm yourself now, Sir Charles. You've had a shock. Let the police do their duty. What can a mere inspector like you do about it? You don't know anything. A mere inspector? Sure. And now here comes Mr. Holmes. Lestrade. Are you here to receive a prize as well? <laughs> Very amusing, Holmes. You can go home. The ceremony's been cancelled. We've got a murder scene here. Oh, all right then. A club member, Mr. Zacharias Greystoke, was killed at around four in the morning. There. Now, don't mess around. I promise that I won't, Inspector. So, I didn't realize it would actually tell me whether that was right or wrong. Okay. Steps on leaves. Rose spear. Christ fell by the attack. Then Sir Charles emerges. And then the statue runs away. Okay, so watch that sequence. It looks as if Zacharias was killed the moment he approached the calendar, and killed by the spear from Takunuman's statue that jumped from its stand and escaped over the wall. Cursed will be anyone who disturbs the sacred temple. They will meet their death by the risen statue. Only the chosen will have mercy. It's not only okay. a calendar, it's a curse. Zacharias Greystoke, a member of the club, was killed as the curse decreed. Look here. There's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph. A dispute of some kind, you think, Watson? Possibly. But it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America. South America! Brilliant, Watson! Happy to help. Is it deadly? Well, there is a chance he survived. Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit. Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. He was struck down by a terrible disease. You a friend? Not really, but he was an active member and a courageous man. Too courageous. You can't fight against the Kijay gods. Zacharias was convinced that he could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity. Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and try to convince Charles to remove the calendar from the award ceremony. But you didn't go. I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Tekun Uman is far too powerful. I have
have to go inside now. <laughs> they captioned him being silently in shock. Okay. Help! Do you hear that? Quick, we have to open this door. The door's too strong and the lock is too solid to break with bare hands. Well, hello. Calendar or the curse, or perhaps a living statue. Yes, it was one of the double statues. I saw its shadow. I believed that it was searching for me, that it wanted to kill me. It was horrible. As in Zacharias's murder, the statue came to life when its intended victim appeared in front of it. I must examine your residence, it may hold some clues. But what if we change this? Aha. Uh -huh. It makes a connection there. Find out the truth about the temple. Use the club's model to discover why the expedition members are afraid to discuss what happened. Okay. Well, that's certainly something actionable. Do I move this? Marley dismantled these alarm clocks for their parts. It can move, but a part of the mechanism is missing. Be careful, Watson, unless you want to be speared by Takun Uman. Click. Yeah, we found out this is a thing in the last episode. It wouldn't you know it. This fits as well. Oh, it has me inside the... That's not what I expected. I see, that's the symbol I need to be in for that particular row. There's a spinny puzzle thing. What do I do with it though? Oh, great. Oh, jeez, really? It's clear enough now. You and your accomplice are guilty to the murder of Zacharias Greystoke. They had to pay for what they did. We're starting the third case now. What? Did you forget? Orson Wilde, he, you know, the star of American theater. And he's visiting and staying with us. You did forget? No, no, not, not that. I, I meant you wanting to stay with Miss Alice. Yes, that's right. Miss Alice suggested it. She told me you couldn't possibly refuse. No, don't, don't touch that! No, no! What is going on? Go back to your flat and stay there with Kate. A fancy ticking homemade gift from a secret admirer. I have two minutes to defuse it. There are ink stains on this piece of paper. I could read the text with the help of my analysis table if Wilde hadn't already destroyed it. Kate, what's the matter? Well, I just came by to tell you that I'm going to the zoo with Alice. We'll be having lunch in town. This would be a good opportunity to investigate Alice's flat while they're absent. And anyway, 
It'd be better to visit the Green Dragon Tavern during the evening. And we open the door to find... Cal, this is much harder to do. Okay. I didn't realize there was a thing to include the guard moving. Cut rope. Fight starts. Guard moves! Let's make sure we actually include that. There we go. Oh, jeez, really? Alright, well, at least this one I'm able to kind of piece together a bit. Uh, bottle. Black. Take the hat. Push aside. Oh. Hmm. Don't distress yourself, sister. You were right to confess. Truly, I, I can feel an evil presence in this apartment. A schematic for a homemade bomb. Hmm. Exactly the type that we had to deal with. Are the solenoids for creating a bomb. This is evidence enough to put Jeremiah behind bars. It appears that Jeremiah received a threatening letter from somebody known as the Dart. Oh, come on, really? I heard something. Huh? Oh, wow. Because he seems to be the only one around here. Boys, check out that sound. There's someone there. Okay. Sneaky sneak over here. Hopefully, I can get down the ladder in time. Before that guy would come back and spot me. Okay. Why? Please try to remember. Yeah, the slightest detail, etc. Well, apart from the smell of those bandits who kidnapped me, yeah, nothing special. And this Jeremiah was spending his time complaining about working for the fart. I think you mean the dog. Yeah, whatever. Jeremiah said that they should all wait till the fart was released. Uh, it makes no sense, right? Percy Fleming, you are charged with conspiracy to murder. What? You used Jeremiah Thorne in your little game because you didn't want your hands dirty. You're lying. Jeremiah spoke to me before he died of how you ordered him to throw the bomb and, after its failure, to abduct me. I'll take care of your case once we're back at Vegas. Cabby, why have we stopped? The road to the square is blocked, sir. Why? There's been a bad road accident. Oh, splendid. Anyway, so we're starting up the last case. We'd better hurry. Okay. There may be injured who need help. Okay. Whoa, good grief. Oh, so they're saying that happened first? That didn't even show That's part it. of the actual thing. Oh, come on. The technical cab's sudden halt caused this disaster, but the lamppost fell down afterwards. So why did the cab stop? It gotta keep following the wire. 
to this I've thing. Such a device before. Holmes, I was looking for you. I have an idea about the accident. Never mind. This one is murder. What? What? You? You're a murderer, You're eh? off your head. Are you sure, Holmes? Oh, yes. A murder and an accident, because the killer, by electrocuting the cab, created this chaos. Oh, hello. Mud. Oh, it smells bad. There was Same. a collision here. Same mud that was on the, uh, workers in the Fresh paint, cart. But from something else. The technical cab collided and stopped here. The lock was forced. What have we here? More mud in the corner. It looks as though the carpet was placed here intentionally. Well then, let's remove it, shall we? Ha! There's a hole going down to the sewers. the sewers. There is a hole back that way. How did I miss that? <laughs> so, it was the goal of Rasco's gang to rob the bank. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Butcher, say goodbye to your daughter. We are arresting you for robbery and murder. What? You can't do that. What happened to my girl? You should have thought about that. You monster. Even if it were true, what would a bank's money be worth against the life of a child? I love you, Meryl. Murder is never proof of love. Now please, come with us. What's up, cool people? I'm Matt Conroy, and uh, thought I'd maybe try a slightly different approach with some of these highlight compilations and things like that. Uh, it, just put the highlights out there right off the bat, and then maybe come in afterwards and kind of explain what my thought process was going into it. So, in the very near future, uh, pretty close to each other, I should have two highlight-ish videos related to Sherlock Holmes stuff. Uh, playing through Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter, and just kind of highlighting some things there. Um, this one in particular is, you know, just a general highlights video, but I decided I would focus mostly on just the various cases and stuff. Um, if you know much about the game, there's also a really major plot theme uh, just ongoing throughout the game revolving uh, Alice and Kate uh, but I thought I would take a separate video to do that. So this one's just focused on the, the, the other cases and that kind of stuff. And just, you know, kind of showing you how the game works with different types of puzzles and things that came up. Which, man, the variety of puzzles was pretty, pretty significant. Um, some of them I honestly couldn't even really figure out without some help. But... Anyway, um, yeah, uh, just kind of highlighting different aspects of how the game works or even kind of some significant plot points and things like that that would happen. Um, but ultimately, uh, you know, I was just aiming for significant stuff and wanted at least something significant out of most of the episodes, videos, whatever you want to call them, that I put out f for that game, uh, uh, trying to get at least a little bit of something from each one. I don't know if I got necessarily every single episode with something significant in there, but I, I, I tried. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, on the whole, I didn't necessarily want to spend too much time on just, like, you know, making deductions for this and examining particular bits of evidence. The main focus, obviously, was on cutscenes, as you could tell, um, and just kind of telling the story of what happened or big moments or things, even even just moments that I really liked, like the whole, uh, the, the whole fight scene in the pub. Really enjoyed that, along with, man, I wish I could show you the whole, like, uh, demon... Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was called. Why am I blanking on it? But anyway, the whole casting out the demon scene in the one house. The, I, I wish I could have shown you that. But the thing is, like, 
it's hard to really get the weight of it without playing the music and the sound from the game, but I got copyright notices on that. It just uh, caused all sorts of problems there. But yeah. Uh, anyway, so if you're looking for more stuff regarding uh, Kate and Alice, there's a separate video coming out that'll be specifically related to that. Just about any and every significant scene in the game related to... Alice and Kate will be in that video. So, um, come back uh, next week or whenever, and maybe I'll have that up as well. But anyway, uh, that, that, that's kind of all I've got for you for this one. Uh, let me know any thoughts that you have down in the comments in terms of s things that you liked from the game or sig significant moments that you thought maybe I missed in this highlight real thing um suggestions for any other games i should play i also very much welcome those down in the comments section as well as any other video ideas you might have um but yeah i i guess that's it in general so make sure you like the video and share it if you enjoyed um and look down in the description for info on my other social media pages and how to find and follow those and i already mentioned leaving comments so that pretty much does it for now so I hope you're all doing well. Hopefully, I'll uh, see you for the next video, uh, especially if you're wanting the whole Kate Alice, I would say subplot, but that was almost like uh, the most significant ongoing plot throughout the entirety of the game, really. Especially towards the end, it really ramped up. But anyway, you'll have to tune in next time to see that. So, until then, stay cool, people. <laughs>